Welcome back everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn your drill press into a spindle sander. Now this will be the first in a series on making jigs for the drill press. I've had a drill press in the wood shop for nine years. I don't know what I would do without it, to be honest with you. If you don't have one, you really should pick one up. And today I'm going to extend the functionality of that drill press to make it into a whole other tool. Many woodworkers have various sanding tools in the wood shop and the spindle sander is one of the most used, especially if you make furniture parts, parts that require a lot of shaping. Up until now, I've done most of my shaping by using my stationary belt sander and a combination of hand sanding, but now it is time to have a spindle sander in the workshop. So with that, let's get to it. The first thing you're going to need for this project is some plywood. I have some three quarter inch birch. I'm going to use this. You're also going to need an inexpensive sanding drum kit that gives you all the spindles that you need. It's a 16 piece kit that I bought off Amazon for $15. This includes all the sizes of spindles that you will ever need. That's a one and a half inch, a seven eighths, a five eighths, and a three eighths. And then it also comes with three different grits, four tubes for each grit. They're not labeled, but it's pretty easy to tell which one is which just based on the roughness. So you get a 60, an 80, and a 120 grit. The other thing you're going to need is a drill press. This particular drill press is a cheap Mastercraft drill press that I bought about nine years ago. I never really thought I would use a drill press all that much in my wood shop, but as it turns out, I use it all the time. It's invaluable for all kinds of joinery jobs. Uh, it's invaluable for making jigs, which I make a lot of, as you guys know. You can pick one up right now, actually, they were just on sale at Canadian Tire for just over $100. That was a weekend sale, I think it was, but normally they're around $120, $130. So they're really inexpensive, it's cheap, the motor's not fantastic, but as I said, it lasted so far nine years. And even the laser guide still works on this, which is miraculous since uh, all my other laser guides are pretty much dead. Now, a drill press is something that I've used for over 40 years now. When I was a welder, which was my initial professional trade, yes, I have my welding tickets, I used drill presses all the time. And so I guess I've carried that habit over into woodworking and I can tell you I don't know what I would do without a drill press. I can tell you that I wish I'd spent a little more money on a better one, but this is really all you need for woodworking is a cheap drill press. The downside to drill presses is that they are made for metalworking primarily, so the tabletop that comes with them are very small.
All right, now it's time to put the sanding tubes on the spindles. And you notice if you haven't worked with these before, they have a nut that you can loosen and tighten. And what that does is when you tighten it, it expands the spindle so that the tube stays on. So you just slip that on and then So now I guess I'll take you on a tour of this spindle sander setup. Obviously the construction done quickly with pocket holes and glue and the three quarter inch plywood, nice and solid, uh, took no time at all. The holes that I drilled in here are one inch holes that have a dual purpose. One of the holes can be used to hook up my vacuum tube so that I have instant dust collection. So the suction will pull the dust down and collect the dust from this port. But its primary purpose, one of these quick clamps can go on quite easily. And just locks right into place. So with a clamp on either side, this isn't going anywhere. It's locked in place. It's dead center so that the spindle can move freely and as an added bonus, I can manually oscillate it up and down. It's so simple to make, I don't even think I have to put plans on the website. What I can tell you right off the bat is that this is a 10 by 10 inch tabletop with a one and a half inch hole drilled right in the center, the span of the feet is seven and a half inches from the outside edge. Well, that concludes turning your drill press into a spindle sander for next to nothing. You will see this transformation jig on various videos coming up because I can tell you this is gonna make my life a whole lot easier. It's gonna make shaping a lot quicker and easier and more consistent. Now, of course you can buy a spindle sander, but they range between around $200 to $2,000, depending on the brand and depending on the features that come with it. So if you're looking at serious furniture production or serious cabinet making, you may want to invest in a real spindle sander, but this is going to be more than enough for my small home workshop. If you want to help me continue to make and edit these videos, head on over to my donation page right over here. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. There are a couple more videos on this side you can watch. Until next time, thanks for watching and have a great day.